Hi there, my name is David Foster. I'm the Principal cons BI Consultant here at K3 Panacea. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up custom logos in InfoView. First, let me show you the end result, see where we're going. So here's the info log on the screen. As you can see, we've replaced the SAP Business Objects logo with our own. And if we log in, we can see see we've replaced the other business objects login with our own logo there. So that gives you an idea of what we're trying to do. We'll start off with that info view portal logo as that's the easiest one to change. First we need an image file of the new logo. So here's some I prepared earlier. So what we'll do is I've literally replaced the white background with the red background just to really bring it home that it's changed. So this one here is what we'll, is the one that we'll use for the portal. Just please note that it's in GIF format and is no more than 30 pixels high. I also find that generally logos with a white background work best, but we'll stick with the red to give it just a highlight of what's going on. Okay, um, a quick tip, if you need to resize or convert an image, then don't rely on MS Paint, that's likely to result in fuzzy, miscolored images. If you have a decent graphics package, then use that. If you don't, like me, then there are a number of freeware graphics packages out there. I use Ultimate Paint, which is great for converting and resizing. So, that one, very useful. So now that we have our file, we need to copy it, put a copy of it into the place where business objects can find it. So let's take a copy of that. Now let's go onto the server itself. So here we are in the correct directory to put it in. So we're on local compu computer, local disk, program files, business objects, Tomcat 55, web apps, InfoView app, res, schema blue. So if we paste the file here. We now have K3P logo 96 times 30 underscore demo. I'll just copy that. It's convenient. Right. Now that we have the now that we have the new logo in a place where business objects can find it, we need to go into the central management console. And change the file and change the configuration. Manage applications. I want info view. So I right click on that. I want the properties.
So this is the uh, property screen that lets you um, edit all the displays. Don't recommend you mess around with the cascading style sheet. If you want to just the default business objects logo, that's the one to click. Here's our custom logo in place at the moment, so that's showing our normal K3 Panacea logo. This is the one we're going to change. And it's simply a matter of that dot gif. Save and close. If we log out of that now. So if we now go into um, info view. view app. So we haven't changed that logo, we've changed the next one. And there you have it. I'm very, not particularly pretty, but illustrates the point. Is the custom logo easy as that? So now that. Changing the logon page logo is a bit more sneaky. You can't officially configure this feature, however, it is relatively easy to do. If we look again at the schema blue directory, the file containing the, the business objects logo is this one here. What we need to do is replace it with a logo of our own. In this case, we use a version of our logo that's 50 pixels high. So back to my computer, there we go, I've got a 50 pixel high version. So I copy that, I paste that in here, here we are. So, let's rename that to backup, and if we rename this one to login banner SAP BOBJ logo. Fantastic. Now, go to info view. If we just simply refresh that. Yep. Boom. There we go. There's the horrible, ugly red. So, there you go. That's how to change the logos on both the business objects log on screen and the info view portal. Easy as that. Right. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.